Hi guys, this is Dennis from Mod My Eye, and uh, this is my first video, as you may know. And for this first video, I want to show you uh, a tweak for Mac OS, which is uh, my S I M B L. Uh, it's kind of like Cydia, but for Mac OS. It, use, it does not use a package manager like Cydia does, and it's less powerful, but it works pretty well. And as you can see, I have a couple tweaks here, which I will cover in other videos. And uh, today I want to show you uh, a tweak called Duck to Dark. Duck to Dark is an awesome tweak, uh, which uh, enables a dark mode for macOS. And uh, it's compatible with macOS Sierra and up. I currently use High Sierra, so compatibility here is confirmed. And you can download it by downloading this utility called MySIMBL. And uh, then going to Updates, so oh, Discover waiting for the sources to update and go to Wolves plugins Dr. Dark and install it. Just click install and boom it's installed and enabled. Uh, so this package is super small around 28 uh, kilobytes which is why it installs so fast and it's recently updated uh, April 1st so I'm not sure if it's safe to install it. I mean April 1st you should never install any software release on that date uh, anyways, it it kind of works, as you will see soon, if we close out of this tool and open it again. It's dark, but yeah, it, it looks kind of odd, it looks very odd. <laughs> as you can see, uh, uh, the blur is very weird, and it's not just for High Sierra, it's for um, Sierra as well. So, but to fix that, you go to System Preferences, which uh, at first look looks very good, with only the dark icons being a little off because they don't look good on the dark background. Um, you have to go to accessibility, which does not look as good. Uh, look at that text. I mean, seriously, you see this? To fix this, you just go uh, scroll with your icon here, um, mouse pointer. So it, it's really weird. Uh, but yeah, then go to display and enable this which disables blur. Um, you cannot see what it actually is because because of this uh, weird bug which still keeps it light mode uh, in some settings, set, settings pages. But this, uh, this check mark is what you need to enable in order to have a better looking Dr. Dark tweak. Uh, this did not work here I see, maybe by restarting it. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, now it works. It looks better, it still doesn't look as good, because this utility uses uh, code injection. It does not really change any files or uh, values in the app, uh, which makes it a lot safer, because it essentially cannot break stuff, uh, but it makes it also less, um, uh, much less uh, functional. Uh, it may contain bugs, uh, as you can see, uh, but it won't break your system by installing it, so it's kind of a trade-off. And by using code inje injection, it also works for much m more uh, applications. Uh, it works for most system applications, like system premises, with some couple a couple bugs. And it works for Finder, uh, which we need to kill first in order to enable the tweak, as Finder is a system process which cannot be uh, quit just by clicking the red button or clicking command Q. So to kill finder, you need to type in this, uh, my bad, kill finder. Uh, make sure to have a capital F as macOS is uh, case sensitive and if you just type, in, type it in with a small F, you will not be able to uh, kill it. So kill all finder, there we go. Now it's killed and it's reopened with a dark, sweet dark team. Um, this is not a perfect solution, only for you dark mode freaks which need to have everything dark. Uh, if you are cool with some light uh, themed applications, this week is not recommended because of all the bugs it has. But if you really, really need it or if you're using it during night, then it's kind of understandable. Uh, so how do you disable it if you only want it to be enabled during night or if you install it then regret yourself. Uh, just go to manage uh, in my SIMBL, still can't remember that name, uh, and 
click on this green icon here, which is disable and enable button. Oh, my text <laughs> turned upside down. Anyways, uh, by clicking that, it's disabled. Now, if you quit this and open it again, there you see it's a light theme again. Uh, you need to restart your application for this to work. You don't need to restart uh, Mac OS, which is good. Um, some applications like Activity Monitor won't work without restarting the system, but it's so rarely used it should be an issue. So, um, as you may see, I have a couple of custom icons in my dock. If you're interested in those, the link will be down below in the description for most of them. Uh, other than that, I'm done. Any feedback is appreciated. Leave that in the comments. Thank you, and see you in the next one.